Hello there, welcome to Retro Planner Co. I'm Cheryl. In today's video, I wanted to share a quick tutorial about how to create color changing boxes in GoodNotes 6. I am on an iPad. Um, this has been requested in the group. A few of you have shared some spreads kind of featuring these box backgrounds from Ahem, that other planner company. Um, and a lot of you are like, oh, I want to be able to do this and change the colors. So it's easy to do. Um, a video similar to this had been already shared in the group. So I wanted to just go ahead and show you real fast the process. Um, this process is just going to show you how to create squares, not other shapes or anything. It's just going to be super fast. So when you're in GoNote 6, what you would need to do is click on your text box. It's not created with your shapes or your drawing because if, you'll see if you draw a you just draw a shape and let go and you have your color fill and everything turned on on here um, it's just going to fill it with a semi-transparent version of that color and you can hit the back button to take off the border so if you just want like a kind of semi-transparent shape this is your way to go and then you could um, change the color of this easily just by kind of lassoing and color and then you could just change the color so you could also use your highlighter tool to kind of make shapes but doing it this way you're kind of getting um, kind of more wonky shapes if you want to be able to color it in these are more like freeform hand-drawn shapes I guess so if you want them to be a little bit more irregular you can do that if you try to do the snap to shape and you try to color it in to make it all kind of solid one color, you, you can't. You have to lift up your pen and then color, and you see whenever you overlap, it creates a darker version of that color. So depending on the look you're going for, you could maybe use that as well. But this video is going to show you how to use text boxes to create blocks um, that you can then change the colors of for your player spreads. So what you need to do is make sure you're on the text tool and then come over here to this um, extended menu like over off to the side and then click the center box and you're presented with text box style. There's a few different styles already like preset in here, um, kind of flat squares, rounded corners, uh, boxes with shadows, depending on how you want to do it, but you can customize it and make it your own. So I'll just click on one of the flat squares for now and just tap on your screen. So now you have a text box. You can go ahead and drag it out. And then to make it um, sized vertically, you just hit return. And so there you have it. You have a box. Now to change the color of this box while it's selected, to go ahead and tap back on your um, original middle box here, click advanced. And here you have the option of changing the background color border color, you can round the corners, you can add a shadow, um, and then you can also put a kind of outline border on here as well. So to do that, we'll start with the background color. So you just tap on that. You can use your grid color, you can use your um, color wheel, you can put a hex code in, which I'll show you some ideas here in just a minute for finding color palettes to use. Um, you can, of course, like color select from individual stickers that you might have, but there's also some websites and some ideas of new color palettes that you might want to use. So we're just going to kind of tap in here and we'll change it to purple. Then I'll go back and say I want a border on this and I want the border to be this blue. It's not showing up yet, but give me a second. Um, and so you can put the border on right here. You just size it up and there you have a border. You can also round your corners by clicking this. You can see the corners are going kind of rounded in. Let's see how high it actually lets you go. It goes up to 20, so that's not horrible. You can make it kind of pop from the page by adding a shadow. So now that that is done, what you can do is just lasso it, tap it, and then add an element. You can create a whole new collection of these that of all different sizes and rounded corners, not rounded corners, shadows, you know, however you want to do it. Just create a whole new collection and then when you're ready to use them in your spreads, um, just tap in that collection, tap on it, and then you can change the colors as well from there. 
and it'll just bring it in as the size that you format it in as well. So that's really handy. So I wanna show you real fast a few ways to find inspiration um, for colors to use in it. So let me open up one of my sticker sets. I'll just open up April stickers. And let's see, we'll find a deco sticker that has a lot of different colors in it. So we'll take this one right here. Oops, there's a semi-transparent hang in there. So if you have an existing sticker that you want to pull color or image that you want to pull colors from, just bring it in. So once you have your image in, just click on your text tool and then go to your colors and custom. Click the eyedropper tool and then you can select any color on there that you want. You can sample that. You can do this with images with um, like brought in from your camera roll. You could do it with stickers. And so once that's brought up, you're going to need this hex code right here. But notice when I click on it, if my keyboard is full size, it blocks things out and I can't grab that hex code, which is what you need. So I just take my keyboard, um, two fingers, swipe in, and it shrinks it for me. Whoops, let me go back in. So then you can kind of click on that hex code, copy, and then click on your shape with your text tool enabled. Go in back into that middle menu for the background color. And then now you can just paste that into there. So I'm gonna paste and it has changed the color. You would do the same process for the outline if you wanted to change the outline or the border. Um, just find your hex code, click on that and put that in there. If you don't have, um, you wanna use outside images or outside color palettes, that is very easy too. So all you would do um, the website Coolers is a very good one to go to to generate new color palettes or to find existing color palettes. It's free to use. It's just coolers.co. So you can just kind of start the generator and generate your own palettes. So I'm not really going to go into the process of that. Or you can click on Explore Trending Palettes. So this is what pops up when you go to explore trending palettes. So if you find some colors that you kind of like, just click on it and it gives you the hex code right there. So you could just import this or input this hex code directly into your color boxes. So very, oh, sorry, very easy to use. You just click on these down below and they will give you all the hex codes. If for some reason you don't find any palettes in here that you are enjoying, which they have a ton, um, click on your little menu over here and then you could do this list of colors and you could sort through by shades so say you're looking for a say you're looking for a pink color palette just click on pink and you're presented with the names but if you click on it it'll give you the hex code as well so that's one way that you can use um, find hex codes or find color palettes to use for your background boxes so another way is to use Pinterest. So I'm just gonna drag it over off to the side. And then you can just type in uh, color palettes here. So again, let's stay with the pink theme. Oops. First you need to learn how to spell. <laughs> so pink color palette, and then you just have a bunch of stuff to choose from. Like I really like this one right here. Um, you could either just, some of them have hex codes kind of built in, or you can long press on it, and then you can click download image um, to download it to your device, or this process has kind of changed a bit. I think with like the recent up update, you used to be able to kind of long press and hold and extract things and stuff that way. This whole menu is kind of changed from the way they had it. So what I like to do is once you long press, if you want to put it like in your camera roll, you notice this right here just gives you the open an app, open link, a new tab, download image, which puts it on your device. But if you want to put it in your camera roll so you could use it right here in GoodNotes, do click that one. And then instead of clicking download, click view. And then you can from here, long press it and click save to photos. So it's like an extra step now um, since they're probably their most recent update. I'm not sure. But so now that that is actually saved to your camera roll, you can come into GoodNotes and click on your image tool. It's right here in my camera roll. I can import it in, and then I can just pull colors right out of this, or I can just ha have it as a reference for hex codes right here. You can go ahead and pre-size all the boxes and lay them out on your page. 
and then lasso them all. Make sure images, well, actually make sure text boxes is turned on because they're text boxes. Lasso them all, tap, and then click add to elements, and boom, you have a customizable template that you can stick into any planner spread and use as your background. So I hope this video has kind of explained a little bit to you about the process of creating color changing boxes for your planner spreads. Have a great day.